Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another installment of Daedalus Plays of Victoria 2 as Beiyang China. We're almost done with our war with Japan. Uh, we're going to be trying to get an access through to Russia, you know, to try to get into um, Sakhalin, because they do own Sakhalin. It would be nice if we could gain access through here. These soldiers are useless. I think... Are they just going to die if we encounter them? Yep, they're dead. Nobody lost, but I guess... The <laughs> It was just the act. Uh, can bring up our taxes. What's going on here? Farmers, 49% of craftsmen. Yeah, it's probably because we have a lot of unemployment. 122,000 just in South Jiangsu. Yeah. How marks? Come on, Russia. Negative 8. Ah, so close. And yet so far. I think we occupied all of Manchuria then. Can we get rid of their army? Come on, die now. 26th of June. Come back here, little bastard. Finally. Okay, they're dead. have zero, but they do have a navy somewhere. Oh, there it is. You know, they're protecting, protecting that. Uh, we don't really, we really need to buy a, to, to build a navy. just gotta wait for Japan. We can't build a navy because we don't have a good enough technology to build a navy that would actually withstand Japan's. Our war exhaustion is 68%. They're, they're sitting at 100 though. They should be suffering a lot. Let's get one of the tax efficiencies. We should be able to, should be able to squeeze out a lot of money if we get that. And it's, and it's a quick little tech. What the fuck? Oh, pfft. oh my god! I can't believe it. <laughs> Belgium is actually invading the North German Federation. Oh my fucking god! This is one of the weirdest fucking games I've ever played in Victoria 2. This is officially one of the weirdest games I've ever played. The NGF not forming until like the 1900s, Russia collapsing utterly and completely, and good lord, Russia com like collapsing utterly and completely, and not even rising back to their great power ever. That's just golden. Everything about this game has been golden. It's just great. Stock exchange. Should be able to squeeze out some more money out of that. Three point eight nine percent of our population is intellectual. So that's pretty good. I was gonna see. What's the makeup here? South Han. Wow, all the Russians just left. The Russian. There were a lot of Russians here. They just fucking left. I wonder if they lost their cores here. No, they still have their cores here. Surprisingly. Our war exhaustion is climbing, but we are getting there. We're getting a climbing war score. Ticking more score rather. Come on, Japan, just give up. Your war exhaustion has been at 100% for so fucking long. 
There we go. Unite the nation, acquire Pyongyang, acquire Sari One. Great, thank you very much. You can fuck right off, you asshole. Chinese reunification. With control over the capital, we may assume leadership over the government and gain international recognition as the true rulers of China. We did it. Our capital has moved back to Peking. Claim Sakhalin. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, those are actually our cores now. Very good. Oh, everything is our core. Everything. And we're going to claim the rest of the rest of uh, Korea because why the hell not? Why the fuck not? Kick the Japanese out. We're back to our old borders. Oh, how I have missed you. You can stay here because this is actually a border with... Uh... That's actually our border with, with China. I mean, <laughs> Japan, I mean. Ugh. Mongolia once in a while, so okay. Maybe we should we should puppet them at some point, eventually. Kazakhstan should return to being our in our sphere, definitely. They used to be in the sphere in the sphere of influence of We're back to be we're back to being what we used to be before we went to the we suffered that horrendous event of the warlord era. Thank god we finally ended that. Let's lower it down like seventy percent, that's pretty good. Lower taxes a little bit. Food packing system, great. I love efficiency when it comes to that shit. Oh my god, our, our capitalists are doing a pretty great job. See, this is why I build capitalists. Build, I mean, encourage their their existence. We need to start building a navy, and we need to start building naval bases again. Hopefully we have enough money for that. Oh man, that took us a long time for us to reunify the country, but we did it at last. That was the first time I've actually been this successful with China. Who needs hussars? You need hussars? Lucky you! I have some for you. Uh, are we building more soldiers? Not currently, but we should. We're gonna gather at Peking. And Qing is no longer our capital. It is only appropriate that we do not build them at Anqing anymore. Let's make oodles of money and have our capitalists build all of our infrastructure for us. Except in this region, because I'm going to build it myself. And in Mongolia, you can have more, more of that. I'll just pay for the rest of this by my own. Is Kazakhstan still a theocracy? They are a theocracy. Wow, they've kept it. They've kept that. That is interesting. Oh, wow. Prussia is a thing now. The United States wants an alliance. Okay, a little bit too late for that, but... I could have used that alliance much earlier, mind friend. But now that you want it, I have no problem getting that. Oh my. Open everything. Open sesame, please. My friend, the United States of America. A re powerful republic. We are also a republic of sorts. Tax efficiency plus 1%. Commerce. Uh, while we are building our naval bases, do we build all of them? We could. Yellow, yellow, yellow. This one's yellow. This one needs to be built in level 2. While these are building. Oh, we already have some level 4 naval bases. Terrific. Okay. So let's focus on getting some naval technology.
I should really transport some troops into Taipei, into Taiwan. So that, uh, what happened, does, what happened before does not happen. And we really need a navy so that we don't get blockaded and get this ridiculous ticking, more, ticking, uh, more exhaustion. That is disgusting, that should never happen again. Russia's still a secondary power. They're in the sphere of France. Oh, that's hilarious. I think that's the first time I've actually seen Russia sphered. That was very interesting. But they wouldn't dare attack us. They only have 94 troops. They have 24 army tech. We have 26. We would bowl over them like they're nothing. We should definitely protect our borders here. We should put some troops. Troops, of course. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Master. No, 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 not a curious here. A dragoon. You can stay in the middle of the country just in case there's a rebellion of some sort. I'm very glad we are building up our infrastructure, that will make things significantly easier. We're building up our forts in here as well, which is terrific, because the the French have a presence in India now. If we get if if uh, Russia decides to declare war on us for their territories, that's where they'll come from. Or rather, we're going to see a lot of uh, French pouring from India. Since they actually got Bengal, they are going to have a lot of troops. Unsurprisingly, since Bengal has like a gorillion people. Capitalists are done here. I like to have capitalists around, they're very nice. Not gonna sue. South Anhui. Where's our most top populated? Is Jiangsu? North Jiangsu, to be precise. <sighs> Should I even encourage craftsmen here? Yes. Let's do that. Why not? Let's get piles of craftsmen in North Jiangsu. Piles of forts. Piles of forts. Everyone gets forts. Uh, you don't have any forts whatsoever. That needs to change. That is bad. Very bad. All of our naval bases are in check. We will not take attrition if we stand here, so let's stand here. Let's get this one so that we can build shit quicker. Commerce Raiders. Good. That won't help me very much, but that's good. Should get electricity, that's for sure. My god, I can't keep up with production. I can't upgrade this shit fast enough. What's the U.S. top score in the industry? 3,108. We have to catch up with them. What is this? More Jacobins. Ugh, you disgust me. What's our militancy like? Growing. Not very fast, but it is growing. Uh, we also need to get mass politics. That will definitely help us. Especially the police state. 
Let's get revolution, counter revolution first. Hmm, more electricity. I already have insane pop growth, so it's not like it matters. What are. Oh, I wanted to check that. Okay, our emigration to the US isn't that terrible. Sometimes we you get insane amounts of uh, emigration. Like, I mean, insane amounts. Especially if the AI uh, becomes China. Because they mismanage the shit out of everything. It's disgusting. Build more. Withdraw from the Geneva Convention. No, no need. No need whatsoever. We are number four in prestige that was historic. When does our... When does this... 1923. Okay, we have four years to wait until we can try to slap Japan in the ass. Now we'll, now we'll push them back out of the out of the continent, and back into their filthy island. Well, I shall probably, not probably. We're gonna definitely gonna push the Russians out of here. Uh, I need it. Number two. Oh boy, that's very nice. Uh, I need. To, I'm gonna lose the war exhaustion. We need to lose that shit. It needs to go. Kazakhstan and Mongolia are the only nations in our sphere. Hmm. Burma needs to be back in our sphere as well. Can we invest in any of them? Not at all. Invest in Persia. Didn't they used to be part of our sphere at one point? I think they did. I don't remember. They have oil, if I recall correctly. Yep, we could benefit from having them there. Kazakhstan has oil too, don't they? There's some oil over here. Oh no, they do not. Oh no, they do. Kazakhstan has oil. Russia has a lot of oil over here. Austro-Hungary has oil. Do we have any oil yet? No. Burma and Assam have oil. There's a lot of oil over here. Oh yes, the Russians have oil in our rightful territories. This is ours. This, is, this rightfully belongs to the Chinese Empire. Fascist coup d'etat in the war. Interesting. I'm sure. I still don't understand why the fuck Austro-Hungary got influence over Burma. I don't understand. There are many things that I do not understand. Nobody got influence over here. Oh, Colombia is under the influence of the U.S. Ah, that French Alaska really triggers me. I hate it. I want it. I want it fucking out of there. Just get the pretty little red at level three forts. We're back to making piles of money. Lower tariffs, of course. Invest. Number two in industry. Oh boy, we are number one. <laughs> Oh man, god damn, it feels good to be the best. Holy shit. We have some more artillery coming. Now we're gonna reinforce this unit over here in the border because it is pathetic. 125 is a horrendous composition.
We're actually losing him. Uh, I can actually tax people less now, and I'm still going to make a lot of money. The capitalists can relax. Middle class is 60% is pretty good. They're all getting their shit. Our literacy is growing really fast, which is beautiful. Oh wow, look at the amount of craftsmen here. Amazing. Great war experience. Should get mass politics. Oh yes, we definitely should get electricity. So many things to get. Oh boy, look at that infrastructure. Ain't that a beaut. I fucking love it. Oh man, this is turning into a really comfy game now. It was so stressful. All this weird shit was happening. But now, everything is great. What's our war exhaustion like? 27%. Japan is sitting at 28%. I would honestly hope you were higher at your war exhaustion, but uh, alas, it was not to be. Yeah, I don't think Russia is going to try anything because they're weak and uh, I'm, f I'm really friendly with, uh, with their buddy, France. So he can go suck on a big, my big nuts. I don't give a shit. 827. Righty-ho. Can I already get... Steamer transports. I can't. I can't believe I got commerce traders before I actually got the fucking <laughs> transports. That is so annoying. That is incredibly annoying. Okay, let's get these guys some actual troops. You need what? Six infantry and two cannons. One, two, three, four, five, six. One cannon. There we go. Perfect. We're number two in industry and climbing fast. We are number one, though. Great. 4,701. The next one is the U.S. with 4,671. Burma. Oh, they decreased our opinion, did they? Those bastard Austro-Hungarians. Minority building restrictions. Yes, of course. Assimilate. What are our accepted pops, anyways, now? Only North Han. Huh. All right. Only North Han. Well, it is the majority. I can see that. Convoys, anyone? Monitors. Uh, mm, nah. I really want to get the other shit. The other superior shit. Yemen goes bankrupt. Okay. Ironclads. Hmm. I can only build them in a few of them. And the Japanese ports. Don't well, thank God for the Japanese, eh? When is our true sand again? Oh, yes, because of, um, uh, uh, Sakhalin. Yep, that's what that's called. 26. We're both the same technology. We're gonna be up after a great war experience, and I guess I can go ahead and declare war on, the, on them. The Japanese will not, de will not dare, I think, to declare war. Plus, we're still waiting on bringing our war exhaustion down. Hence why I'm not being so warlike. Oh man, I 
need to get assembly line. I really need to get Daimler's automobiles. What's this? Don't care about Silesia. TBH. What the fuck? North German fascist. Okay, so the North German Federation is now going to be fascist. My god, how can a nation fuck up so badly? And Prussia has scores all over this, and they are allied to only this. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. My god, what a weird game. What the... What a weird game. Oh my god, they don't have cores in Ireland. That is hilarious, too. Britain lost all of their overseas territories. I have cores here, that is odd. The Russians are still crying about their cores, probably the fact that they don't even have Russians in here. 6% Russian. UA, there's a little small percentage of Russians here. Yeah, that is... Japanese irregular Jacobin rebels. You, you need to be reinforced to 516. Six, and you have a Husser or a Dragoon, and you a Husser. Then you will be getting a Dragoon, my friend. Naval base progress is going along. Peachy. I wish there was a, a, a fort map mode. That way I could see where I would need to build more better forts. And where not to. But that does not exist. Maybe there's a mod. I'm not sure. Smell of sweet, sweet progress. Look at that shit. It's beautiful. Gotta get at least these craftsmen to like 10%. Oh, yeah, it's for Silesia, isn't it? Humiliate France or Silesia. Is that gonna be another great war over fucking nothing? That is going to be great. I wanna see that. Steamer transports. Oh, about fucking time. Good grief. That took a long ass time, man. Wow, that was just ridiculous. 34 transports. That should do it for now. Oh, fuck it. Let's get like 51 transports. We have a lot of troops. If we can land like a whole bunch of troops in Japan, just invade the shit out of them. That'll be great. Mm, there are different nations that I can liberate out of Japan. I think only the Izo Republic. Oh no, they lost their cores here. Okay, I can't release them then. Maybe, hmm, hmm, maybe there's a, still a chance. Are we catching up on the U.S. In industry? Yep, we only have another 400 points, and we are climbing fast. Burma wants an alliance, of course. Do you have oil, Burma? Yes, you do. Okay, good for us. Assam, it would be good to have Assam. They're going to have reactionary soon, so that means it would be much easier for us to gain headway here in Assam. Wait a sec, why am I not influencing Siam? Was I banned? No, I just didn't do it because I'm stupid. They won't allow me to build anything, unfortunately. 
Our athletes are victorious. And what is the time like? 30 minutes. Eh, I guess I can pull out a short episode here. This a little, oh, what is this? Fascists. Ooh, Russia's going to collapse. International crisis. Is that another great war? The th My god, the Third Great War over Silesia. Ah, oh, well, now. That is just fucked up. That is just a pile of shit, is what that is. And let's get electricity. We're still building our naval bases, it'll take a while. A lot of them are almost done, though. Yeah, let's get one brown water doctrine. Go away, Awad. You clod. Seven two five. What the hell happened to the other? Uh... Oh, I guess they were on their way here. Fourteen <sighs> percent. Their war exhaustion actually diminished about the about, at about the same rate as ours. That's interesting. No, you can't have access, you twat. If I declare war on Russia, only France is the only power that matters is going to declare war on us, so that's going to be probably fine. There's our first batch of new naval bases done. Yep, I called it, and it was right on time. What could we build with this? Dreadnoughts? No, dreadnoughts, I mean ironclads. Secret police, great. Uh, it's actually exactly what I like what I like. Means less rebel organization uh, that organization is always a good thing. Oh my god. The NGF didn't even have a chance to fight because they're they're fully occupied by their own people. Italy joined because I guess they defended It's Britain, uh, Britain, Germany, and Italy. Oh my god, that is ridiculous. Bavaria remained neutral. This is absolutely horrendous. Everything about this is horrendous. Everything about this is just terrible. This whole game has been terrible. I mean, not for me, but just... On a on just the bizarre bullshit that's been happening, this is just weird. It's just fucked up. It's just terribly. There's just no other word for it. It's just fucked up, man. It is just beyond fucked. And we are sitting at 34 minutes and 36 seconds, so I'm going to stop right here and continue this next time. Um, yeah, we'll keep building more, building up our army, of course. We'll probably go end up fighting Russia next, just to get Siam, <laughs> Sakhalin. And of course, go to war with Japan to grab Sakhalin, the rest of Sakhalin. Maybe from Russia, we might grab more things, like extend our, ourselves all the way up to here to Kamchatka. Who knows? Why not? Is there anything here that I would want? There's grain. There's fish. There's more grain. There's more fish. It's just fish. There's some coal there. I can use, always use coal and... Coal and oil is always a good thing. 
Any provinces nearby that I could snag that has oil? Huh. Oh, Uzbekia's right here. Damn, that is a long-ass province. Holy shit. I don't know if I would want to grab this snake here of uh, Ale and Uzbekia. Maybe I'll just release another nation of uh, Uzbekistan. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. That that sounds like it would be a pretty cool idea if I released all these other Central Asian powers. All right, I'll end this here and continue this next time. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you next time.